Welcome to this four-part mini-series on defensive programming. In these programs, I'm going to be using Python code, but exactly the same principles hold true in all other programming languages. My name's Andy Wicks, and what I'd like to take you through is why we're doing this. You need to defend your reputation, hence the term defensive programming. If you have a good reputation, you'll earn plenty of money and have a future. If your reputation's not so good, well, then there are problems. So writing a program that doesn't crash will enhance your reputation. It will also make your life easier because you will know that your program is not going to crash because of bugs. You'll see the terms validation and verification used a lot. Validation is when you check that your program is getting the type of information that it needs. So the data is of the right type. You're using integer where you should be using integer and strings where you should be using strings. Or, for example, with dates, that it's in the right format. Verification that is not covered in this particular series checks that the data itself is accurate. So it covers things like proofreading and entering the same data twice, double entry. But we're not going to be covering that here. Thank you for listening to this introductory video. Now on to some real work.